This week on TGC News, a holster that looks like the bottom of a shoe, a universal suppressor and Magpul releases, a belt? Ari Factor Tactical now offers some of the most useful targets around. Whether it's the IQ, the kill zone, or the essentials target, you won't be short on drills to run at the range. To get 10% off your entire order, click the Ari Factor link in the description and use the code TGC10. Welcome back, my name is John Patton, and before we get started, I wanna give you guys a heads up. My buddies at Four Guys Guns have partnered with a whole bunch of companies to do this freaking huge giveaway with like 60 grand worth of guns, gear, and training, and uh, it's, it's gonna be awesome. For the relevant info on that, go to fourguysguns.com slash giveaway. They don't actually know I'm gonna plug that, so go check it out, guys. Now, this week's first story is about Magpul, best known for their industry standard PMAGs and other injection molded gun accessories, Magpul has decided to step into a market that no one expected from them, belts. Having a good gun belt can make all the difference in carrying. I didn't believe the hype either until I got my first boxer tactical belt, which I now rotate with my Savoie leather belt. Having ample support and rigidity without compromising in comfort is key to a good EDC setup. Enter the new Tejas belt from Magpul. I think a lot of people are going to be skeptical about this thing, but let's delve a little deeper and see what it's all about. According to Magpul, they start with quality leather from only the shoulders of bulls. My guess is that that area of the animal has the most consistent material. They then glue and sew on a polymer backing material to add structure without making it too stiff and uncomfortable. Sounds good so far. They also claim that the backing prevents moisture from getting into the leather and actually helps the belt retain shape and positioning while it's in your pants. It also allows the adjustment holes to be closer together than they normally would be, and that is for, as they put it, the perfect fit. The kicker here is their belt hardware. I know a lot of guys are into customizing their belts and swapping buckles, and their new hardware allows that without tools. Personally, if the stock buckle isn't broken, I'm not gonna change it, but the fact that I could do it pretty easily without tools is cool. The MSRP on this thing is just under 85 bucks, so it doesn't break the bank, and they even come in fatty sizes for big boys like me. Mm-hmm, yeah. Things like this make me wonder though, is Magpul going to be getting into the holster game? I'm sure they could easily do it and probably have thought about it, but only time will tell. This is one that I'm definitely going to be looking at when I get to SHOT Show in January. And in Universal Suppressors are the new Flat Dark Earth news, Griffin Armament has released a new suppressor called the Optimus. From my days behind a gun store counter, one of the biggest complaints I heard about suppressors was that you can't use one can on all your guns. Sure, you could use a 30 cal on a 5.56, but you couldn't use that on a 9mm handgun. A lot of that has to do with people not wanting to spend thousands of dollars on multiple cans for every caliber they shoot. People want one can to rule them all. Well, now we have that option. The first universal can we saw this year was the Silencer Co. Hybrid. That was slated to shoot everything from 458 SOCOM down to 22 Long Rifle. However, the Hybrid is still in development, whereas the Optimus is in full production. Using a combination of different pistons, end caps, and configurations, the Optimus is rated to handle anything from 22 Long Rifle all the way up to 300 Win Mag, and they have to be under 38 caliber because of the end caps. That can all be swapped with simple tools. So it won't do a 40 or a 45, which is a shame, but still, this kind of can can be a game changer. Griffin suppressors have a solid reputation, and being that these are actually user serviceable, I think they may have hit a home run here. I suppose the biggest decision now is, do you want to leave your cans on your guns all the time, or do you want to have one that you can reconfigure for all your different guns? I personally want one for every gun I own, but I'd still like to have something like this because options are key. And being that I'm a big bore enthusiast, I'm actually going to be waiting on the Silence Co. Hybrid to hit the market before I make any purchases. This next product was something I posted on the TGC Facebook page and got enormous response from, so I wanted to talk about it here on the show. It's called the Urban Carry Holster. The idea here is that instead of having the gun on your waistline, you use this holster to deep conceal it down inside your pants. They claim that the gun, because it's below the waist, doesn't jam into your sides or your tactical muffin top and is way easier to conceal. That logic isn't flawed. 
Here's a quick demo from their overview video. With any holster, speed is important. Whether you have a 40, a revolver, a 380, a double stack. As you can see, it attaches to the belt like normal, and the top is actually held closed with magnets. Using the same motion you would to clear a cover garment, you pull up and the gun gets exposed for use. Honestly, the idea is pretty slick. I say the idea is slick because I find it hard to believe that this would work in every carry position around your waist, let alone all body types. There are a lot of fluffy gun owners, and I know for a fact that they won't be able to operate this thing without having a hernia. It'll be like, eh, 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 just like that. It'd be ridiculous. <laughs> just like that. And let's also talk about the fact that this would require a lot of training to get used to because it's so different than most other holsters. Not that it's a bad thing to be different, it's just something to understand when buying a product like this. I think that this is really designed for the type of person that wants to carry to the office without being spotted by Janet in accounting and fired for being prepared to defend themselves. What do you guys think? Would you buy one of these? This week's friendly fire question is from a guy known only as Mac on the TGC Facebook page, and he asks, what is your pick for straight walled cartridges? Mac, thanks for the question. I love straight walled cartridges, mostly because all of my favorite big bore calibers are straight walled. Hmm, shocking, right? Prior to a few months ago, I probably would have said 50 AE or 50 Beowulf, but now that I have this, my pick is the 500 Magnum. It's straight up brute force. I know guys will get in the comments and say, oh, 460 is better because blah, 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 blah. It's not a 50 cal, get over it. Drop a like on this video if you wanna see more with that lever gun. Hopefully, Mac, that answers your question, brother. My friendly fire question to you guys this week is what is your favorite big bore cartridge? Is it 50 AE, 44 mag, 4570, or maybe 50 BMG? Let me know down in the comments. And if you want your question answered right here on the show, you can post that over on facebook.com slash the gun collective or post it on Instagram and Twitter using hashtag friendly fire. The combat wallet from Hellbent Holsters offers rugged simplicity for your EDC. Offered in small, medium, and large sizes, they've got one to fit your needs. Also available are these badass custom titanium money clips. To get 10% off your entire order at hellbentholsters.com, use the code TGC10. And unfortunately, that is it for this week's show. Guys, you know what to do if you enjoyed the episode. If you didn't, let me know down in the comments so we can talk about it. Do not forget to subscribe. You won't want to miss a single week. And as always, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon. Hey, did you watch last week's show? Or maybe the one before that? And did you subscribe yet? You need to do that. Click right here to subscribe. Do it now.